Hey guys and welcome back to another follow-up video regarding the WD MyCloud EX4100 and on this particular video we are going to talk about speed and noise. So going first to the speed tests, what I've seen so far and I'll place here on screen as we saw on the first video we are getting roughly 100-110 megabits per second of uh, writes and reads on this NASH in particular. So I tried RAID 0, 1, 5, 10, JBOD and spanning and across all of these RAID configurations and JBOD and spanning of course we got the same speed. So uh, I was not expecting but I had hopes that uh, RAID 0 could give us a little bit more of um, performance not that i would use raid zero on a nash i wouldn't but just to see to test if it would or not and it doesn't so 100 110 will be the cap or the maximum cap that we will get so better off running in raid 5 so you can uh, be at peace and you know that your data will not be uh, loss. Now let's go to the topic about the noise and regarding the noise as I said on the first video uh, this is a pretty silent machine. Now it's so silent that at this moment you cannot hear it because it's sleeping but there's another point here which is uh, any device I'm not going to talk about Nash, but any device that has mechanical hard drives inside will produce noise when the drives are spinning. So on one side the Nash is very silent and dead silent if it's sleeping, but if it's being accessed through the um, through some users uh, it will make the noise of the hard drive spinning so let take me for example uh, if this if this Nash it's not this is a sample from double D so I'm gonna give <laughs> back to them but if it was to stay here on the office doing what I do which is uh, video editing motion graphics and voiceover recordings for my clients not just for these YouTube videos here I could afford to have drive spinning and that would be no problem but for my clients that's very important I cannot have have um, noises or background noises on those voiceovers. So if it, if it was to stay here I would place next to my EX2 which works exactly the same. No noise at all but once it gets access uh, it will produce some noise. Now you have to think this how are you going to use this Nash? So if you have the same workflow as I do I'm the only one that is accessing the Nash. Well, my wife accesses without even knowing. I just tell her this folder is where you place your files that are critical to you. So if you put there and the computer burns, everything will be safe. So she doesn't even she doesn't even know where the files are. So we are the two using it. But me, in my case, I do have full control of this Nash and all the others. So when I have to do a voiceover. Uh, I'm not working with files inside the NASH. I'm working with the files inside of my um, hard drives that are in the computer. So the NASH is totally asleep. I can record my voiceovers and this is the mic that I use, uh, the Yeti, which picks up everything. So one good test would be to watch all the videos that are on these YouTube cards right over here. And while I was recording, the NASH was working. So if you find any noise there um, you will be able to to tell. On the other hand if I was working with this Nash and I gave access to let's say five or ten uh, users so that they could use any time of the day then probably I would not put this drive uh, right next to me I would put it about a meter away uh, because when the drive spin you will hear noise which I don't know any Nash that won't do that, so <laughs> that's across all of them. The concern that you can have here is, Roberto, is the fan loud? No, the fan, you will not hear the fan. The fan works roughly at 600 uh, RPM. It is a 120 mil fan, so you will be more than fine like that. But on the other hand, the, on the other hand, sorry, the hard drives will make the normal um, hard drive uh, noise. So just consider this. If you are working in an office that you don't do voiceovers and you have people typing, this will not be your problem for sure. Uh, I give you an example. When my wife comes here and she's typing or pressing her mouse, I say, hey, I need to do a voiceover. So 
please go do something else uh, and that's just a mouse click so if you have an office with five six people uh, and they are typing this will be the thing that will do less noise over there on the other hand if you need voiceovers like I do then you might want to put it about a meter away a meter two meters away from uh, the area that you are working so you don't hear the hard drives uh, spinning and that is it regarding the speed tests and noise very pleased with it and on the next video i'm going to share with you the things that i did like the most and the things that i did like the less as i always do hope you have enjoyed and i'll see you on the next one